What's going on with y'all boys, man? It's your boy Bailey Wise, and I'm back with yet another video. Today I'm about to be tending another crazy whip. I'm about to be blacking out another insane whip. Y'all go ahead and comment down below without skipping. Don't skip in this video. Comment down below what y'all think I'm about to tent. Give y'all boys just a couple hints. It is overhyped. It looks like a fridge. And yeah, from there, y'all probably know what we're talking about. I'm about to tent a new Tesla Cybertruck. We're gonna be doing the whole truck and a tent strip. So your boy's about to go pull around, hop in. I'm gonna give y'all the full walk around, the full tent install, show y'all the, yeah, the how-to to tent. And yeah, I don't know, comment down below what y'all think of the Tesla Cybertruck. If y'all are gonna cop, if y'all wouldn't cop, yeah, all that, but let's hop into it. Let's go get our review. I don't know if these things have cameras in it, so, the owner if you do end up watching like this video if you end up looking in your tesla cyber truck i'm trying to acquire my bag like you my guy but shout out to you thank you for allowing me to tent your truck if you ever do a come across this video i don't know um yeah and shout out to everybody who does have a tesla cyber truck if y'all want it tinted and i successfully can do it because i can't say i can tint it because i've never tinted one so yeah we're about to be the first one probably around this area one of the first ones in this area to tint a tesla cyber truck and i'm in south carolina so it's not really a place like where these things are probably at large so yeah let's go ahead hop into it it's gonna be an honest reaction honest review maybe a couple people from work get their reactions you know all that but today we got the keys to the tesla cyber truck and quite frankly it's not even a key if y'all don't know most of y'all boys that do have teslas we got um a tesla credit card so yeah let's go hop in it let's go see what we talking about and let's get our first reaction to the tesla cyber truck i'm sure a lot of people from work are gonna be pulling up looking at this so yeah it's gonna be a cool video it's a different video i hope y'all boys enjoy yes my z is still down so for everybody wondering when the z is coming back i don't know but hopefully soon because your boy misses it it's not just y'all yeah let's get into it all right we're about to actually try to get into this thing i've never even walked up into it i'm about to turn the camera around and show y'all the big tesla mini fridge mug I think it's crazy. It low key looks like that chip dude off of SpongeBob. But I'm gonna give y'all, I know y'all don't wanna see me, y'all wanna see that full, you know what I'm saying? So we're about to give y'all a full walk around of the Tesla Cybertruck. As you boys can see, looks like a big Dorito chip, big fridge. But let's go ahead and pull it in. I don't really remember how to get into here, but I'm gonna put that thing right there. Hit that. Sorry if you are watching again, dude, I don't really remember how to get in. There we go. I guess no door handle on the fridge. That's crazy, that's crazy. Y'all can see Tesla Cybertruck automatically starts playing music. So I'm gonna hop in here and give y'all boys my first initial reaction to the Tesla Cybertruck. Um, we are gonna try to turn the radio down or just pause it. And then as you boys can see, you can come along here. You can see the big, nice infotainment center you got no door handles so or you got door handles my fault but you can i guess hit closed door y'all boys hit closed door maybe i don't know maybe we'll hit that button i don't know we're just gonna pull it like old-fashioned and now to actually drive it you push the brake you slide that back i'm gonna set y'all boys right here so we don't get into a collision let's put it in reverse now we are in reverse and what is crazy is you can't actually see what is behind you because the cover is actually up. So you got to rely heavily on these fat cameras. It's crazy. But I don't know how this would work. I don't know if you actually did back something, like if you back this truck into something, I don't know if it would dent or if you would dent the other person's. Um, but yeah, the steering is crazy. The windshield looks crazy. It's like a 20 foot windshield this is probably one of the craziest whips like i've ever drove it kind of moves like a robot bro it kind of like type rock crawls moves sideways take some definitely taking some getting used to and if y'all boys don't know but for the ones who do this truck is like for some reason more popular than like every car there's a lot of people that say you can take a svj out in public and this will get more attention than an svj now i almost slid y'all boys all the way across the windshield but it's all right and i don't know i'm sure my guy is probably watching if you are watching me I do make YouTube videos, so I do appreciate you dropping this off. This kind of helps me make YouTube videos as well. And I try to give reviews. So if you are wondering 
what I'm doing talking to the camera and talking to myself. That is why. But what is really weird is the steering wheel. Like, I try to back up and go one way, and then you don't even have to turn it back around to actually turn the other way. It kind of is crazy how this thing moves and maneuvers. It moves like a, a big crab, for example, and definitely a driving experience for sure. Not gonna lie, I'm super blessed to be in this opportunity opportunity of driving this vehicle also tinting it as well i do appreciate everybody that has let me tint some of their whips here recently this is probably the second most expensive vehicle now that we have tinted next to the r8 so we are going to actually put that in park now i'm going to turn this around and show you all kind of everything so to actually go and drive you take this car slide it up we got somebody walking right there as you can see that boy jared walking up but we are going to put it in park but yeah, y'all can see that. I don't know if I have it off or what. Yeah, I don't know how, I guess, to look out the back. I don't know if you hit this button. Yeah. Sheesh. I guess that's the only way you can see out the back windows with the cover actually down. So if you don't, if you have the cover up, you can't even see behind you. This is crazy. I don't know. Tesla Cybertruck joint? This is crazy, bro. But I guess you hit these buttons. That opens the door. As you can see, it kind of pops out like just enough to kind of get in there. The doors are pretty heavy. And like people were talking about, I guess that is actually maybe where yeah. it's starting to run. Do what? Yeah. Chat, tell them where it is. Um, oh, where's your buddy's eating Bojangles right now? Shit good as Where's fuck. your Tesla truck? Brokey? Yeah, Brokey. Brokey? Your get truck? in your tell him to get in his bag chat. Biggest hater alive. Where's your Tesla Cyber truck joint? Not here? Oh, look, come here. Yeah. Broke already. How? Fucked up already. How? Hey, that's already on the broke. That's on the bed cover, and this boy just got it. Paper tag. That is already crazy. broke. See? Come on, Elon Musk. Get better. <laughs> Fucking pussy. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm being serious. But look at though. this, I mean, bro. Shit. Look at that. Where's your bed cover doing that, though? It's broke. <laughs> look, already broke. Huh? Broke. Allegedly, look see, shit, they didn't do the best with their, uh, you, see how tall that you know, their rubber trim up here. Look at this. Broke. Oh, he said. I mean, that's not broke. That's just a piece of broke. I don't care. Still, <laughs> I ain't paying 150 bands for broke. Hey, that's that big fridge though. Y'all hear it? Jack don't like it so far. Not Jack approved. Jack don't approve the Tesla Cybertruck. What's this? <laughs> Do what? Hey, this is crazy, huh? Nah, that, them lights in there are crazy. I ain't, yeah. gonna, I ain't sad anymore. It moves like a crab, bro. To Like whenever you turn right to go this back the other way. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they have cameras. So he's probably watching our oh, yeah. silly self. But yeah, this is that Tesla Cybertruck chat. I'm going to give y'all the, the frontal with it. But y'all can see, bro, this thing looks absolutely just insane. And you got the fat dongle. I made a reaction video about the windshield wiper on this thing. You, look how big this windshield wiper is, bro. Mandingo. <laughs> Mandingo of a windshield wiper, bro. <laughs> That shit's crazy, but we're about to actually cut this thing out. I don't remember how dark we're going, but I think probably just a 15% nice, classic, cool, calm, nothing too crazy, but here's the actual back view of it. I'm going to give y'all a tent tutorial now. I'm going to cut it out, give y'all boys the, the full tutorial. These are nice flat windows, so they're probably not too hard to tent, as y'all boys can see. That boy just popped the front on that thing. <laughs> Bro can't be too mad. We're sitting here just trying to experiment here. We may never get another Tesla Cybertruck, but for everybody that wants a Cybertruck, this is what we got. Bro's lifting that joint now, boy. Damn! <laughs> yeah, it went up like double the ride height of what it was on. Yeah, drop that thing. Damn! You think this thing dents like if you hit a car? Danny Duncan shot his. I'm gonna shut the front back, but. No, uh, how about You gonna you gonna press the button? My fault, Joe. Oh, uh, the front? Yeah. Uh, oh. Oh, we going back up? <laughs> My fault. Hold up, hold up. Hold up. <laughs> Dude, what's crazy is I seen one when I went on Luxray. I looked at it. I was like, 
Dead ass. Hey, yeah, my ass took it down the road. We got the front button. Sheesh. All right, Jim. All right, quit playing with him, Jim. Quit talking to him. I think they, what they were talking about, though, that's what cuts your finger off. What? Like, if you got your finger right there and you shut it, it won't stop. It's he crazy. Put it on low, low. On low, low? Dang. Yeah, that thing slams. It goes like half the ride height. Oh, chat. We about to get back to it, bro. You're just seeing a bunch of kids messing with an old Tesla truck. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta figure this out. How do we get this bag back up? Yeah, nice Tesla truck. We're gonna show y'all boys the CISO because I didn't give y'all the actual, you know, the whole tutorial. Nice, easy. You can see the only thing, the windshield looks crazy looking out of it. Nice moon roof. Chat, we gotta open up the back. First aid kit, bro. This is fire, bro. Back window, we are gonna be tinning that. It looks like just a weird flat back window. I don't know, chat. But we're gonna figure it out, get to it, and pick up with y'all boys. Damn, my iPad in the back. It's got an iPad in the back, like for the AC too. Look at that shit, boys. It's crazy. All right, well, let's get into it. It's not going to tin itself. See y'all boys on the tripod, man. This video is low-key going to be like a kind of like a reaction video. Low-key, I am tinning it. Um, this is what content we bring to y'all. We're going to show y'all boys how to open the Tessie truck door. So if you hit that little thing right there, it's going to automatically pop open for you. I don't know if it was to try to close back if it's going to get your finger, but then you take a look on the inside. Nice plain Jane. I don't know if you can change that LED strip color white and black door panels, super easy windows. To actually tint these joints, you just come over here and hit the window switch and it'll trigger the window to sit up all the time. And then what I like to do, a nice A1 tenner trick, is I like to kind of wipe my frame off. This is a newer truck, so probably not too much dirt has acquired yet, but yeah, let's get straight into it. And low key boys, for this one, I was gonna end up using my um, my door panel blanket, as y'all can see kind of right here beside the window pattern as I'm pulling it off, but I couldn't get it to actually hold into the door panel anywhere. So before y'all boys comment down below that I'm waterlogging the door panels, y'all just know it. Like, it is what it is. But last time I did check, the Tesla Cybertruck was a waterproof whip no, i'm just playing but y'all can see we are throwing a 15 percent on the front two here i know the video i don't even know if y'all boys can see me the tesla truck is low-key kind of taller than i was expecting and it's a little bit too tall for the tripod so i'm kind of probably cutting off top half of my head it'll be all good though these nice teslas are always kind of simple though as long as you don't get into like the windshields and the back windows typically these windows can be done super easily they're nice open frame windows all the way around so you don't got to worry about really any seal besides the bottom and thankfully on these cyber trucks you don't even have to heat the side windows up it looks like there's going to be a massive curve in the actual side windows but they turn out to be pretty flat pretty self-explanatory pretty uh pretty easy it looks like the hardest window on this truck is probably the windshield or yeah but we're not going to be doing that today. We're going to be slapping a tent strip on it. So luckily we're not going to be messing with the, uh, the fat windshield like that.
All right, we're on to the front corner window. I don't know if y'all boys can see, but these windows are kind of a pain to reach. I think the plan here with it being a newer car is we're just gonna, we already kind of sprayed it down with water. We're just gonna squeegee it and try to get most of the dirt that we can. Luckily, this is a new whip and we don't have to strip and retint one of these. You know, for whoever may decide to buy this car in the future, I'm sorry. Um, I'm also sorry for the first person who ever has to strip and retint a cyber truck because these windows don't seem like they're gonna be fun to be getting into. But yeah, I'm gonna figure out how to get my fat hand in here. We're gonna about to smack these and then all we got left is the back half. Now, here we go for the first try. Um, looks like we're just gonna kind of dangle this thing in here and push it on down and along the edge there and try not to touch as much as we can. It's kind of hard working with the small space we have, but as long as you see no light, you clean it to the best of your abilities, then you will be good, my guys. We're gonna put our whole head in here. Um, maybe to start with a light squeegee right here across the top edge get it to where it won't get it to where it will not slide all on y'all and then yeah we're just gonna push down it does work a lot better if you do have a rubber squeegee or maybe a squeegee whatever you use to push water out that has no handle because I don't think I could be able to fit anything in there that has an actual handle y'all uh, bear with me though Just like that, we um, have our corner window and our front two all done. We're about to move to the back and smack the back. We're gonna be putting a 50 over it, give them a nice heat rejection, and then we're gonna be getting into the review. And it's a short little segment, but I hope y'all boys are enjoying. Um, if y'all don't know, for all the new people, I know this is like a tinting Tesla Cybertruck, but for all the OG fans that are not new to the channel, I appreciate all y'all for bearing with me while I get through the process of actually wrecking my car and getting it back. A lot of y'all boys may not even know, um, but I appreciate everybody who's been rocking with me and bearing with me while I just get through the times. Um, for everybody who doesn't know, I wrecked my Z01 and I've been actually fixing it for the last since beginning of February. So it's been a little while. It's been like half a year already and we're almost at 5K. Shout out to everybody. We're really, by the time this video is up, probably 4K. I appreciate all y'all boys who have been rocking with me and uh, y'all boys making my dreams come true. Um, if y'all boys, you know, I'm probably going to make an actual sit down video where I've been. I know things seem like I've changed a lot. I mean, my videos kind of be a little bit different. I'm kind of more chilled back, laid back, um, mainly just because I haven't been able to do anything. So I've just been recording what I can and recording when I can, where I can, getting the content I can. I know a lot of my fans, OG fans, are all car like kind of people. So I try not to put out content anymore that isn't just strictly cars, bikes, whatever that I think is gonna be up to par. But that's what we're working and twerking with. Y'all can see the Tesla Cyber fridge. Yeah, we got the front two tinted N15. We are now about to slap a 50 over the back because we still have to tint the back half, which is just these two windows and this back window. I don't know how we're gonna get in there. That's kind of the what seems like it's gonna be our hardest window on this whip today that we are gonna be doing. But, you know, it's never stopped us before. We got to get it. We're locked in. We're halfway in. So let's get straight to it. For all the haters, still fuck you. ZL1's coming back soon. I'm now turning the Cybertruck. If you're hating, I literally don't know why. Get up out of bed, get into motion, and grind. Because at this point, I don't know why you're hating. Yeah. I don't know why I just said that. I don't know why I'm coming at y'all boys sideways like I got haters. I probably don't got haters. I probably do. But if you are hating, it's fuck you. We got a Cybertruck in and... Yeah, we're making a bag. We're living and twerking in the flesh and trying to get it how we can. Um, learned a lot. I'm ready to talk to y'all boys. Once like, the ZL1 gets back, the ZL1 is back for good. Cause, yeah. 
But for everybody who is new to the channel, I know, I, let me introduce myself again, it's your boy Bailey Wise, and I do tint windows, my content is all over the place, and for the OG fans like I was doing, I do apologize, I, I've kind of dipped, I've kind of disappeared, um, life's been going crazy. For everybody who doesn't know, I mentioned a second ago I wrecked my car back like in February and I've spent the last, uh, you know, 2024 20, trying to get that figured out. If y'all don't know, I haven't really, really sat down and talked and talked about everything. I've kind of shown you all the videos of picking up my parts, life, chilling, chilling with homies, and uh, pretty much whatever content I can get. Um, but I've just been waiting to kind of get my car back and kind of do the whole breaking the silence and telling y'all boys what is going on with the ZL1, what happened with the ZL1. And uh, yeah, for, for for the for right now though, your boy ended up getting ran off on on a lot of parts, the car, money, all that good ordeal stuff. So there's a lot that I have to speak about, a lot I got to go over, and I owe it to y'all. Um, yeah, because it's a whole ordeal. I don't know when I'm gonna get my car back, but for right now, we're in the tent bay. My content is crazy. I've tinted a Cybertruck, an R8, AMG GT63S, like all these crazy whips have came into my life over the uh, the last, you know, since February, you know, since I've wrecked my car, my life has gotten crazy. The cars are a whole lot crazier now. My content can be a whole lot crazier. I just don't got a car to get there. But enough of like this rambling, I'm eventually going to give you all a sit down video talk and I just kind of want to do it in the Z when it gets back and kind of just show you all it's back so you all boys believe me. But for now, I know I got a lot of... Uh, fans that are kind of here for probably a little bit of everything maybe the tesla truck window tent bikes cars whatever it may be this is actually how i afford my money so this is kind of why i throw it in um it's not a whole lot of many youtube car creators at all that really tint windows and are still working a nine to five um so it's kind of hard to relate to the content that i make um i don't know if maybe y'all boys relate but i'm kind of vlogging still working still trying to get out still trying to figure out what life is i'm young i'm 23 i'm about to be 23 chat and uh yeah life's crazy i never would have thought i would have ever been here tending this thing like if i don't know this thing went like a hundred over sticker like this is an expensive whip it's not regular i'm blessed to be kind of in this situation and um what is crazy is like I would never have the opportunity to see these cars without window tint, but it's crazy like how the camera and my job and the opportunity to bring these videos without my job, I wouldn't be bringing you all these videos. So um, yeah, I don't really know. I'm gonna take it day by day, record my day, record what I'm doing, and I feel like that's how I'm gonna stay true. Um, I'm not done co dropping content, I'm just, Y'all boys know the car is gone and I can't do as easily because unfortunately like y'all boys just don't stay 